quarantine hasn't been easy for Hui, one of nearly 100 students forced into a Medi hotel after a cluster of coronavirus cases was linked to Theberton Senior College. But it's been just as hard for his family, who are self-isolating at home, without his income to help support them. If I don't have a job, I don't get the money now, and I worry for family because they need to pay uh, the bills. Multicultural Youth SA has stepped in, supporting about 40 students like Hui with food, counselling and language services around the clock while they're in quarantine. For some young people, this is the first time that they've been away from home. Um, so just providing an ear to listen, um, comfort, reassurance, um, talking through their problems with them. They've also been supporting the families at home. Some of these young people are actually our primary carers to family members with disability. Um, so they're worried, well, how's, how's mum going? Uh, I'm used to um, supporting in the home and washing um, and cleaning and cooking for her. And so that's where MICE has come in and provided that practical in-home support as well. For Hui, knowing his family were looked after has made his time in quarantine much easier. I'm happy uh, with that and it's uh, reduced my uh, stress now and I've reduced my worry. There's a sense of relief for some of the people who've been in hotel quarantine here or in self-isolation at home. If they last attended the school on the 29th of July, they're now free to rejoin the community. But if they were there after that date, the wait continues. Dana Morse, ABC News, Adelaide.